When you look at me, what do you see? A head, eyes, nose, a mouth, maybe ears. How best can I use these features on my head where my brain sits to make a difference in my life and the life of others? Psalms 34 seems to say, He that desires life and loves many days, that he may see the good, he must learn to keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking guile. They must depart from evil and do that which is good. They must seek peace and pursue it. Because the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are upon their cry. He is focused on us. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil and to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Even the righteous must cry to God and the Lord must hear them and deliver them out of all their troubles. Use your mouth to cry to God because he's able to deliver you. He is near to them that are brokenhearted and he saves them who are contrite in spirit. It doesn't matter how many afflictions they face. God says he will deliver them from all of them and keep all their bones preserved. All right, none of them shall be broken. And so what I'm going to talk to you about today, my friends, is that God uses his face, his ears, his eyes to listen to those who are crying to him and to serve his servants so that none of them remain desolate. God turns his face from the wicked. How are you using your senses? How are you using your eyes, your nose, your mouth and your ears and your touch? What are you touching? Because God seems to pay attention to those who call to him for help. Are you helping others? Are you using your eyes to see where you need to help others? Are you using your ears to listen to stories that you might need to be involved in to change people's lives? What are you using your mouth to say? Because words create the world. When you speak, there's so much life and death in your tongue. Both powers sit on your tongue. So how do you use it? Yes, you might say the mouth is for eating and nourishing the body, but did you realize that all of your senses are actually part of your diet? Our diet is not just what we eat. It's everything we see, we smell, we hear, and therefore you need to be careful what diet you are consuming, and especially who are the people around you, all right? Because they contribute to the diet of your senses. What is important from that verse as I read it is that if you desire a good life, if you desire a long life, there are things you need to be careful not to say. Be economic with your words. Be economic with the things you watch and spend time watching because what we garbage in finds its way out of us because a man is as he thinketh. What we say comes from what we think, and what we think comes from what we have consumed. And therefore today, I want you to think again about what are the contents of your senses that are going into your archives. Because what goes in there always finds its way around and out of you. Your diet is not just what you eat. It's everything that comes through your senses. Your brain processes all of that in its faculties and creates meanings for this world. Meanings of which we use to behave and to communicate and relate to other people. Be sensible. That's what it means to use your senses to think because your brain depends on all of your senses to have eyes to see the outside world. It sees the world through your senses. How you use them? is critical. Let me tell you this, even heaven, when it judges us, we are told that by your words you shall be saved and by your words you shall be cursed. Many times people were asked, what did you go out in the desert for to see and to hear? Today, God still says, if you hear my words, harden not your heart. All the prophecies, you hear the prophet saying, I saw Some of those eyes are not physical, they are spiritual. So today, I encourage you to consider how you use your senses, how you use those features you have on your head. 
because they communicate directly with your brain and they create meanings and worlds. God bless you as you consider how, as a good man, you could live longer and be in peace both with God and with men. Amen.